The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Welcome to another Goldmine 101, our regular series of short presentations, giving you hints and tips for getting the most out of Goldmine CRM. And in this session, I'm going to cover automated processes in Goldmine, a very simple automated process. If you've never never come across automated processes before in Goldmine, this is a really clever part of Goldmine that is quite often missed by the Goldmine community, uh, maybe through lack of knowledge. Uh, but I hope in this session to really explain to you and show you how simple they can be and how, how much time they can save you and, in, and increase your productivity. So uh, hello for those of you listening live. My name is Tim Wilmot and my company Wizard Systems. We're a specialist CRM solutions provider who help out small and mid-sized companies improve their sales productivity, marketing and customer service through the use of solutions like Goldmine. So this session, this, this presentation will be quite short, about 10 minutes or quarter an hour. So honestly, automated processes, there's so much to it. it once you get into it, um, it, could, it could completely run your sales operation and improve a lot of the productivity you get out of Goldmine. So there's a lot to it. Uh, my company can assist you if, if what you see on this session is of interest to you, my company could work with you and give you a bit of training and uh, coaching on how to implement automated processes for yourselves if you're not doing that already. Now, the audio part of this presentation is one way only. If you've got a question, please pop that into the question box on your meeting control panel, and I'll do my best to answer at the end. Also, at the end, I'll give you an update on any Goldmine product news for you as of mid-February. 2021. Um, this call is being recorded as well after the presentation. Those listening live, you'll get an email from our system with a link to recording. You can play back as many times as you want to. And also it will most likely be up on our YouTube channel as well. Just go to YouTube, do a search for Wizard Systems. That's our channel name. And you'll see loads of other Goldmine videos up there on different topics um, to do with Goldmine. So just a brief mention then about Wizard Systems. We're a leading provider of CRM solutions, including Goldmine. Uh, we do provide other solutions, not just Goldmine, but Goldmine is a, is a key product in our portfolio. We've, we've been doing this a long time. We've implemented well over 3,000 installations all over the UK and further afield. And we offer the complete service around Goldmine, the product upgrades, implementation, training. Obviously, right now, that's all online. Um, wherever you are, whatever time zone, we can provide uh, training and uh, consultancy for you. And our Goldmine Help Desk, our permanently manned Goldmine Help Desk, waiting to answer your calls. Okay, so let's get into an automated process. So the, the example I'm going to choose may be um, quite common for most organizations. Imagine the scenario that you take a new inquiry and what you normally do is you would perhaps send out a thank you for your inquiry email and then maybe a few days later you want to phone that customer this new prospect to maybe advance their inquiry a little bit further so that's the example I'm going to choose and obviously in Goldman you know you could do that manually you could um, you know create the email and and send it out and then schedule a call and um, for the particular user that you want and um, X number of days from today. Of course, you could do that all manually. But my process I'm going to create is going to do that all automatically for you. But first, you've got to create the process. First, you've got to understand the terminology that Goldmine uses in this automated process feature. And then you can really um, uh, really sort of um, look at your existing process and see if, see if Goldmine could actually help you there, help you save time, uh, improve your productivity and, and prevent things slipping through the net. So in my example, imagine this is a brand new inquiry. 
I've typed, I've just typed in that, um, th their basic details. And I want Goldmine to now automatically send them an email, um, thank them for their inquiry. Uh, and then also in maybe three or four days time, I want to phone them to chase up their inquiry. All right, so it's gonna be quite a simple process this. Now with automated processes, I would strongly advise that if you do try out automated processes, you implement them in your company, it's got to be created by somebody that understands Goldmine the most in your organization, all right? Someone that's familiar with all of the capabilities of Goldmine, creating email templates, the scheduling function, um, creating filters and groups, you know, all of that key stuff there in Goldmine, make sure it's someone like that. Um, if in doubt, contact Wizard Systems. We can advise you as regards the best approach for what you're trying to do. Um, can Goldmine do it? And what's the best way of approaching it? All right. So automated processes are lurking in your tools menu. And there we are, second one down, automated processes. And to set up the process in the first place, I go to manage processes and that takes me to the screen here may maybe not too helpful um there is a little wizard that will take us through the creation of a process but in here this is where we will see the pro all the processes all the procedures all the automatic things that that i've set up for this particular user i'm logged on as this master user here at the moment and down here on this blank white screen i will see all of the automated processes i want to create. Well, there's a little bit of help here on the right hand side, but to create this brand new process, I click on this um, gear icon, this cog icon here to create the new process. Right. First step, give the process a name so that we can recognize it later on. And also we can um, oops, let me just uh, check that again. Hang on a second. Let me just go back. So tools automated processes and manage processes. Let me just create a new process. So process name is gonna be new inquiry. As I say, this is something that our users will recognize. And uh, also um, if you're editing processes, you'll know exactly what that is. So we're giving a kind of a bit of a description as regards what it's going to do. Then I give it a, I could give it a process code, which again will help us uh, see that in the list of processes we've created. Next, right, this is quite an important screen here, but this, this is dictating how is this process going to be carried out? How is it going to trigger? Now, automatically, Goldmine will check this box here, allow users to attach this process. But in this particular example, when I attach this process, it's going to happen automatically. So when we create the process, we've got to decide when will Goldmine look at these records and decide when to carry out the actions that we've defined. Um, in this example, on this session, I'm going to, as soon as I attach this process, that's what we do. When we create the process, we attach it to one or many records in our Goldmine database. And in this example, it's going to happen. It's going to execute automatically. All right. Um, another nice one down here is this one at the bottom. Attach this process to all new contact records. This would be very appropriate for any new inquiry. So when we add in a new inquiry, um, it will automatically be added to that new record and whatever action or actions we've determined within the process, they will just happen automatically. Right, click next. Every process consists of one or many events and each event will have a trigger and an action, all right? So the trigger is what is Goldmine looking for and the action is what what activity, what thing do you want Goldmine to do? Let me take you through that. So new. So let's say the first thing we want to do is send out the new inquiry um, email. 
So the event description will be just describing what we're going to be doing. New inquiry email, for example. And then there are a few other options here, but, but the next thing I want to consider is when is that going to happen? Well, I want this to happen. This email it has to go out immediately when I attach this process to a record. And then the action, what action do I want to take place? Well, there's lots of options there, but what I want in this example is to send out an email. What email do I want to send out? Well, this is where I will go to my list of email templates. So you've got to have familiar, familiarity with um, email templates. So let's say I've got a, uh, a thank you. Let's choose one appropriate, say thank you for inquiry into this particular product here. So choose the template that's relevant to this inquiry. And lastly, what user, when we, when we send out this email, what user name is going to appear in, in the goldmine history? Well, in this example, I'm going to, going to select the user who attaches this process. So me, the user, when I attach this process, this record, it's my name that's going to go into history. There are a few other tabs here to help you define um, how that's recorded um, in history, but that quite simply, that's it. The, the template you want to send out and whose name is going to be recorded against that email. Right, so that is, is our first event. The second event is to schedule a follow-up phone call for a user, let's say in three or four days time. So the event description will be schedule a call. And again, when do we want this to happen? Well, I'm gonna have this, this, uh, this call scheduled immediately for a certain number of days in the future. So in this example, I'm going to have immediate, but there are other options for setting in a time delay, um, that elapsed day, setting in a time delay before this phone call will appear on the on the gold mine on the gold mine system. So there are a few other elaborate options there. So immediate, immediate tr uh, trigger. What's the action I want to take place? Well, this is going to be a scheduled activity. All right. And then I click on options to then uh, uh, dictate what activity it's going to be. Well, it's going to be a phone call. Now, of course, in any CRM system, Goldman included, when we create activities, they have to have an assigned user, um, a user who has to do that. So there are quite a few options here that you can decide on who is going to make this, who's going to have this phone call. It could be the record owner. Maybe when the new inquiries come in, they are automatically stamped with that user, maybe based on territory or the product they're interested in. So it would be quite natural for that user to to uh, get that um, to get that uh, phone call. It could be an assigned user, attaching user, logged user, or user from a field in your goldmine database. Well, I'm going to in this example, I'm going to have the attaching user. Me, I attach the I attach the process. I'm going to get the phone call. Now, activity details. This allows me to actually record, I stipulate the exact schedule, a call, subject, or reference. So in here, I will put in something like new inquiry, whatever that might be. Um, obviously, I could put in some notes in there as well. But quite simply, that, well, that's the most important thing to, to put in, that subject line. Then I hit schedule. It's not actually scheduling. It's just, just recording this as part of the process. Now, this little section here, schedule X number of days into the future. That's where I want to advance this forwards four days. It will also skip weekends as well. Um, uh, or, okay for you. So um, four days into the future from today's date, um, this, this call will be scheduled. Click OK. Click OK. And that's pretty much it for that simple process, uh, creating that process. So I'll just click Next, click Finish. Job done. Now, how do we attach that to this record? 
Well, there are a few ways of doing this. I've mentioned one already. Um, whenever we cre create a new record, this process could automatically be attached to record. And if I've configured it to, if I've configured a trigger to be, to be immediate, it's gonna happen automatically. Or I could manually add it in on the process tab here. I've got a couple there already. So I could attach a process here, just right click on that screen there. Or indeed I could go back to my tools menu, automated processes and assign process. This is where now, you can see I've got lots of processes there already. There's my automated process there. I click OK and it's happened automatically. You might have just seen it flash there. It will appear in your Goldmine process monitor as well. But in history, there is the email out for you. Um, in history, the email's gone out. And then in pending, we've got the new inquiry down here. Um, today's date is the 17th. It's um, set it up for uh, the, the 22nd um, of February, which I think is the Monday, isn't it? So we skipped that weekend. There's that new inquiry for that uh, attaching user. So there we are then, a very simple automated process that it can get a lot more involved than that to completely, it's, it's a bit like, it's a bit like, I often describe it as like a free sales administrator that you get with Goldmine. So 24 hours a day, it can be monitoring your Goldmine system, looking for things to do, new inquiries, um, uh, key customers to chase. Uh, you've, you've done something, maybe you've gone to a meeting and there's some kind of follow-up action or you get a sale. That'd be, a, that'd be a, a, quite a, a typical one. You get a sale. What would happen in a sale? Well, Mary gets some, user Mary gets some prompt to, to process the order. Um, then user Fred has to, has to schedule the, the survey or the implementation or whatever it might be. So there could be a sequence of actions there that you might do manually. Some of you might do, some of those might be in Goldmine, some of them might be in another application. But at least Goldmine could help you save time and help. Um, we'll make sure the right thing is done to the right person um, at the right time and preventing you colleagues forgetting some key key activity um, in your in your sales processes there. Right, so as we normally do, those of you familiar to our, our um, Goldmine 101 sessions, if you've got any questions around this feature, automated processes, please pop those into the question box on your meeting control panel. Um, question from Ellie. Can we send out an email if a quote is outstanding? Right, well, that would, okay, so you've got to think about when you do a quote, what has, what's been recorded in Goldmine? Um, now, in my experience, Goldmine users may do quotes in a number of different ways. Maybe they send the quote in an email. Maybe they create um, a, a document, a PDF quote. Maybe they're using uh, the popular QuoteWorks add-on which could do that, well, that, that would be another solution for you. Um, if you're doing quotes, uh, look at QuoteWorks because that has some automation too within it to, uh, to, um, to chase uh, quotations. But if, it, it'll probably need um, closer, dis uh, more discussion with you, Ellie, as regards um, what's gone into Goldmine. I know some people actually create a detail record with a quotation number that might be another trigger. So you create a detail record, then um, yes, it will, it, it could um, send out an email for you if that quote is still outstanding. But also you've got to think, well, what happens if the customer then orders that product from that quote? Well, you don't want to send out that email, do you? It'd be pretty embarrassing if you're sending out a chase email, but you've got the order already. So again, that's where automated processes can help. Um, there are certain events that you can put into the process to, to prevent um, further actions taking place because what you're looking for has taken place already. So um, Goldmine 
could do that for you. But it it does need. Um, we'll call, we'll call you after this, uh, Ellie, to um, see what uh, what you're trying to do there. Uh, next question from B. What if the person getting the call is not there? We've got people on furlough at the moment. Uh, yeah, well, that, that's quite, um, that's a very good question. I mean, right now, I know a few of our customers have people on furlough or part-time furlough. Maybe they're some people just working Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, for example, or Monday and Friday. And and yeah, what happens um, if if the system is automatically scheduling calls and but then that user is not there. Well, there's no no problem with Goldmine. Um, as you may know, uh, users can see other users' activities. So I think uh, if that is likely to occur, then you just need to advise people to look at um, if if you know the system is being is, if you know the system is creating automated activities for you, then you just need to make sure you go into that um, that user activity list or or show people how to see other people's activities and then grab those activities there if um, that person is not around. Right, don't think there's any more questions coming through. Uh, right, uh, so latest news for you, as I mentioned already, all our training is online at the moment um, until uh, when lockdown eases. Um, we were, before the current lockdown, we were doing some smaller train, training courses at our Bristol base. We've got a couple of training rooms if anyone has been there before. So we will open that up um, when lockdown eases. But right now it's all online. Latest release of Goldman is 2020.1. Um, uh, please contact us for more information on that. There are some special offers around maintenance and upgrades, so please contact us if you're on a really old version there um, to, to make sure you capitalize on the latest features of Goldmine and compatibility improvements. Uh, please contact us for details if you're on an old version of Goldmine. So that's it uh, for this session then. Uh, a very simple first time automated process um please contact us for more information on that or if you've got any suggestions for future topics please email us tim at wizard-systems.com we'd look forward to hearing from you and there's all of our other contact details including our youtube channel wizard systems thanks very much indeed for your time um and we'll speak to you soon bye-bye